Hey guys, it's Medusa again. Today we're going to be diving into the ever-evolving beef uh, between Quantum TV and various YouTubers that are determined to get him removed from the platform. Uh, if you like what you see and agree with getting this abusive scum off of YouTube, drop a like and a sub. A few clicks really do help go a long way to support the channel and all the work that it takes to produce these videos, as well as getting us one step closer to becoming monetized here on YouTube. So without further ado and wasting any more of your time, let's dive right into it. So I'm sure mischief. The 16 to 17 year old really ruffled some feathers of Quantum TVs and has continued to post video after video which have amassed tens of thousands of views and subscribers to his channel just within the past few months alone. He has now surpassed Quantum TV by 20,000 subs by the time of me making this video and continues to grow with the support of many larger YouTubers such as The Act Man, Griffin Gaming, Review Tech USA, and Asmongold, just to name a few. Now as we take a look over to Quantum TV's channel, he has recently lost thousands of subscribers due to his recent copyright strike abuse controversies between those previously mentioned YouTubers, as well as, of course, Mischief himself. This is quite ironic, seeing as he dubs himself the number one brand in honesty, uh, whereas in this video we will see exactly why that is only one of his many false claims. Now, unfortunately, I will not be showing any video or audio clips on TV in this video, seeing as I am a smaller channel working my way to monetization, and unfortunately, a copyright strike on my channel would be absolutely devastating to the progress that I have made to achieving that goal. However, I will be including the information and clips linked down below in the description uh, if you do want to check out my information on this controversy, along with the clips to the larger YouTubes whose um, audio and uh, visual clips that I have used in this video as part of fair use, of course. Now let's get started and check out why Mischief has gotten so much attention from this recent Quantum T bash, as well as a clip of him explaining why he has been attacked for making reviews on his own channel that are protected through the Fair Use Act. 64,000 subscribers decided to harass me with threats of a copyright strike against my channel because I called out their Elden Ring review, in which they consistently got things factually incorrect. There's something interesting when it comes to calling out pieces of shits on the internet, like those who consistently spread false information within, and I quote, no bullshit reviews, which are so no bullshit to the point that after I called a certain one of these channels out, aka Quantum TV, they deleted said review because I was blatantly correct, and then proceeded to threaten me with an illegal copyright takedown on my video calling them out for their bullshit. But before we get into me responding to the guy's degenerate arguments about how my video was quote unquote not fair use, I want to clear up one or two things regarding why I myself took down the video initially. First of all, at the time I simply said to myself, fuck this, I'll deal with it later and so took it down. What you're seeing now is me dealing with it later, and I will be in fact re-uploading it around two hours after this video, and if he takes any action against the video, you can bet your ass it's going to more than likely haunt on his channel forever. There is one thing no community on YouTube tolerates and it's a copyright abuser. At this point in time, Mischief was a much smaller channel like my own, with less than 10,000 subscribers. He was being threatened with channel termination and attacked to take down his video by Quantum TV, who was much larger at this point, just for posting a reaction to his review of Elden Ring. This of course will not be a one-off trend of Quantum's, as he continued to go after other reviewers of his content, such as The Act Man, Gaming, and Review Tech USA. Meanwhile, he's spewing satanic, racial, and homophobic hate speech while filing false copyright strike claims in which he never included links or proof of copyright even ever occurring. Now here's a clip from the previously mentioned Griffin Gaming uh, that goes on to even say that he isn't trying to bully or throw hate at Quantum TV to know about him. However, there really is no reasoning with the number one brand in honesty when it comes to even the slightest bit of logic or critical thinking. 
and said the trim of the video is processing as we speak. So I apologize for that and hope this settles any issue you might have with the video because you know what, believe it or not guys, I'm not a complete fucking prick 24 seven. When it comes to like dealing with people privately or in real life, like I'm not an asshole, okay? I'm pretty nice about things and I was trying to be nice in this situation because you know what, I don't dislike anyone that I talk about for the most part when I make a YouTube video on them. I as Quantum TV continues to be exposed for his words and videos, he tries to hide any derogatory evidence that may try to prove him to be the monster that he is claiming he is not. Asmin Gold shows Quantum's efforts in this next of making it seem like he has hacked every time he puts out something that completely contradicts anything he believes or tells his audience. Um, anyone that's watching LinkedIn material would immediately sense that you're not the card dropping type there it is and and like this is a good solution that he has uh he has it to where comments are disabled and and he has to manually approve them so that's why there's no other negative comments about this and so he also made it so the like and dislike ratio is turned off so you can't like or dislike the video because like if you could like the video then you could also dislike the video but you can't do either one of them false copyright claims and verbal abuse such as telling people to kill themselves when they don't agree with his viewpoint, Quantum TV needs to be removed from not only YouTube, but all platforms which his vulgarity has been posted on. Asmin Gold pretty much sums it up well in this next clip here. This is a guy who spent the better part of the last four years evading bans, spamming about how gay people suck, and just telling people to kill themselves because they disagree with the video review. Like, this guy needs to get taken off the platform. There's literally no positive that this person brings. They are a universal negative. They harass people. And really, all of those things pale in comparison to the fact that he's filing false copyright strikes at people that get mad at him. Anybody that criticizes this guy, he's filing a copyright strike which is against the law to get them to, to take down their video. I mean, now luckily for small creators such as Mischief and I, YouTubers such as The Act Man, with his comedic relief in serious topics and games, has come to the rescue like a beautiful knight in armor, saving us from that foul breath of the quantum dragon. Some people might ask, well, why are you making this video? Why are you giving him exposure? Uh, I understand your concerns, but this affects the entire YouTube platform. By the way, he's not gaining much of a following or viewership from all of this controversy. And my end goal is the termination of his YouTube channel for routinely abusing copyright, violating terms of service, and the YouTube community guidelines. All of this that is outlined, I'm going to show you evidence of how Quantum TV has violated all of it. Tell you enough how poetic this justice is. Creators like Quantum should not be allowed on a platform like YouTube, which was made for the brewing of delicious potions that cultivate multicultural acceptance and a place where people can share their ideals and opinions freely without being nailed to the terms of service wall like a wanted poster in the Old West. This affects everyone from small to large to medium and can absolutely devastate someone's livelihood here on YouTube with just the smallest lie. I mean, we're seeing it now with the real world defamation child between Johnny Depp and Amber Heard. I mean, it's clear to see that the smallest of lies can absolutely devastate someone's life. And, and this is what's so, so unreal about this is the fact that like, I'm going to, I'm going to watch this one too. I, I am. I'm going to watch this one too, because this copyright abusing bullshit has to stop, man. It has to fucking stop. Like, it's just crazy. And, and, and like, I don't like, here's the thing is that the guy has weird fucked up views on people. He says a lot of bad stuff. Yeah, that's bad. But I think everybody gets together and we know that's bad. And, you know, people are just like, yeah, fuck this guy, right? But what's bad about the copyright shit is because it legitimately hurts people. This isn't like an opinion that people have. This isn't anything like that. This is something that, like, legitimately hurts people. And um, it's not a some some text or whatever. It ruins people's, uh, yeah, it's attacking people's livelihood. And it's awful, man. 
And uh, he's psychopathic, dude. I, that I, I feel like maybe, but like, I'll give him a sub too, okay? We'll lead by example. Why not? If you guys want to sub to this guy. And, um, you know, <laughs> oh my God, it's just crazy. Let's all follow Asmongold's lead and drop a like and sub to Mischief and myself as well if you like the video. Comment below, hashtag justice. Crazy indeed, Asmongold. Crazy indeed. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.